slowing the spread and boosting the economy. That's what state leaders are focusing on as we continue to battle the coronavirus. Governor Norfolk met with some business owners today to talk next steps. And 10 News reporter McKinley Struther shares the, his guidance and talks with local businesses who are telling two completely different stories. This virus is stubborn. Um, it's got a mind of its own. Since this inception of this thing, I, I, I guess we've... Uh, We've all uh, learned a whole lot, but we're far from experts. Governor Ralph Northam Friday joined Southwest Virginia business people and leaders to discuss economic recovery, but the road to riches is far from paid. We've all been slammed um, from plumbers to contractors to our tree service. With more people focusing on at-home projects, Carrie Poff's business is raking in money. Federal aid relief has helped her position the company to sustain should things go south. This is a tree service and salvage company. They spend their days trimming trees, and that's all they've had to do, luckily. Other companies not so fortunate spending their days trimming fat just to stay alive. Like I applied for it in like the first week of March, and we did not get it until like almost August. Delicia Tucker owns Delicia's Gourmet Ice, or DGI, in Roanoke, a sweet treats company that nearly took a sour turn to the pandemic. She's holding on with the help of federal aid money, but worries about the future. And we have to remember that 97% of our economy is from small businesses, so let's all work together to, to help them. Friday's call was hosted by the United Way. Governor Northam says he wants to focus on a vaccine, expanding broadband in rural areas of southwest Virginia, and expanding rapid testing in our area. All things he says that will boost the local economy. Reporting on McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.